These are developers, funders, plus engineers convened in the fourth African Conference on Hydropower Development here in Kampala. Top on the agenda is sensible and sustainable hydro dam financing, in which case Uganda has both some negative impact due to poor planning. When you talk about hydropower generation, you will think about finances and affordable finances. Finances have to be affordable, otherwise you will end up generating power which people will not be using because of the cost of power. So I expect them to focus more, probably to help us on how to come up with uh, bankable projects. Okay, World Bank is here. African Development Bank is also represented in this very exhibition. So I, I expect them to really help us. And also the technology, by the way, the technology that can make us save somewhere, you know, so that we don't continue doing uh, a dam development in a very archaic way. First of all, we shouldn't be having dimmed energy. And uh, one of the things is to make sure that uh, as a sector, we have integrated planning. Even while Uganda has not experienced any hydro dam failure, it's high on the minds of the participants in this year's conference. In the last decade, too many dams have been affected by serious incidents or failures during the first filling or the first years of operation. We need to pay close attention to this warning. Maybe something is going wrong. The contractual strategy for development of new projects and rehabilitation projects should be optimized to improve dam safety. That Uganda is to commission two major plants, namely Nyagak 3 in West Nile and Karuma Hydropower Plant, before the end of the year and more in the pipeline. The agenda of the conference should perhaps have come yesterday. Rachel Nabisubi. NTV Business.